Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we will be talking about our potential tropical cyclone yet to become a tropical storm, as well as the other two disturbances that are out there. And in terms of potential tropical cyclone 2, a hurricane watch has been issued. So we'll be taking a look at what is expected for this system in details. And so before we delve into these systems, All right, and we are kickstarting with, of course, a general view of the Atlantic Basin right now. So we have the tropical wave that recently emerged off the coast of Africa. We have another one further west, and that one is actually a disturbance that is given a low chance to develop at this time. As we head a little bit more to the west into the Caribbean, we have our potential tropical cyclone. And then as we go up to the northwest in the Gulf of Mexico, we have a disturbance there that uh, that is designated as invest 95L. So let us look at our systems or marked systems in details. And so here we have the National Hurricane Center's five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. There we have our potential tropical cyclone 2 or PTC2 and our other two disturbances. So let's start off with this disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico. And so as of right now, it is given a medium 40% chance to possibly develop. And it is right off the Gulf Coast of Texas right now. That's where that low pressure center is. And so uh, this has very limited time to develop. So it is lingering there for a very long time now and just move in very slowly and it is bringing quite a bit of rainfall to areas within the vicinity of it and let's look at it on satellite and here we have it it doesn't possess the characteristics to be a tropical depression but it still has that small window of opportunity to get in shape and uh, reach that threshold to be called a tropical depression even before it makes its way into texas later today but regardless it is going to be a rainmaker and this thing here could even result in a flood in some areas especially low-lying areas so guys please be aware of that if you're along the gulf coast of texas and so now let's go ahead and take a look at our other disturbance so here we have it not designated as an invest it is a tropical wave that is accelerating towards the lesser antilles so we're seeing that the formation chance is at 10 percent and it was at 20 percent yesterday i believe so now we have a decrease in the chance and i think that it is getting pretty unlikely that we will see the development of this mainly because of the very hostile environment ahead of the system so it has a slight chance while it is out there now but as it heads into the Caribbean it is going to be encountering much more unfavorable conditions and so uh, regardless though this thing here could bring some rainfall to portions of the Lesser Antilles uh, as we're going to be heading into uh, tomorrow on Friday. All right and so now let's go ahead and take a look at our potential tropical cyclone number too. And it is yet to be a named storm, as I said earlier, but it is still expected to become a Bonnie. So it is quite disorganized right now, and it doesn't possess a closed center of circulation to be uh, classified as a tropical cyclone. But again, it is producing those storm force winds. And so an aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system later this afternoon, and we'll see if it is going to become an officially named storm, but it is looking pretty disorganized right now. However, it's going to be moving away from land and add more into uh, all those warm ocean waters and it could have a chance to intensify in the South Caribbean and that is the reason we have all these watches and warnings being issued for portions of Central America. And so looking at the uh, cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center, as I said, the system is producing storm force winds. So maximum sustained winds are at 40 miles per hour and the system is accelerating westward at 20 miles per hour. So it's actually moving slower and it should continue to decrease in its acceleration towards the west as we head into this weekend. And so in terms of the watches and warnings now, so Hurricane Watch, that is highlighted in pink. So Hurricane Watch is in effect for the Nicaragua-Costa Rica border from Laguna de Perlas, Nicaragua. And then we have a tropical storm warning that is in effect for San Andres, Colombia, Limon, Costa Rica, northward to Sandy Bay, Serpi in Nicaragua. And so that tropical storm warning is highlighted in blue. 
Next, we have a tropical storm watch, which is in yellow. That is in effect for Cabo Blanco, Costa Rica, northward to Puerto Sandino in Nicaragua. So all of these areas here, these uh, various countries are expected to feel impacts from the system because it might be pretty weak now. But as I said, it is expected to intensify. And even though it isn't expected to become a hurricane in the South Caribbean, it might be close enough. And that's the reason we have a hurricane watch being issued for some areas. However, it is expected to cross over into the eastern pacific not losing storm status uh but it's going to be intensifying once it moves over. So it is expected to become a hurricane off the Mexican coast. And so if you are along the southeastern Mexican coast, you want to keep an eye on this for next week as this thing here is likely to intensify once it makes its way over into that ocean basin. But as of right now, it is pretty disorganized, but things ahead of it look conducive to enable uh, intensification of the South Caribbean. And we'll see if this thing here will finally become a tropical storm from Bonnie later today. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on. So let's look at ocean temperatures and things are pretty favorable right now. So ocean temperatures in the Caribbean, of course, things are pretty warm and also over in the eastern pacific so once uh, the system makes its way over into the eastern pacific it is likely to uh, encounter all of these warm ocean waters which will induce more strengthening uh, keeping that the wind shear is conducive and the environment is pretty moist all right and so now let us go ahead and move on to the wind shear that is expected as we're going to be heading into the new week and so first up we have gfs and so the different colors here the yellows are uh, the very bright yellow shade the greens and the blues that indicates that conditions are favorable in terms of wind shear. Wind shear isn't too strong. However, as we head to the oranges and the reds, that is when we have a strong wind shear and that inhibits tropical cyclone development because the strong winds just rip up the systems as they are trying to develop. And so that is likely to be the fate of that tropical wave that is expected to move into the Caribbean. And so this is by Sunday on the 3rd of July and we're seeing that an increase in shear is expected across the Caribbean extended out into the tropical Atlantic and that is exactly where that system is going to be so things are likely to be pretty unfavorable to enable any significant development of the system and the euro is in agreement with this we're definitely going to be having increased cheer across most of the Caribbean so that is what is ahead for that system however as for potential tropical cyclone number two it is expected to remain in favorable conditions and intensify over the next a day or so while it is going to be remaining in the Caribbean and then once it crosses is over into the Pacific by Saturday, it is going to be in more favorable conditions to enable it to intensify into a hurricane. And so guys, that is really it for this update video. And so uh, if you're in portions of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, you definitely have to be on alert because this thing here is going to be bringing some dangerous conditions, the very heavy rainfall, the strong winds, as well as that storm surge. So please guys, take all the necessary precautions and stay safe. And so if you found this video to be quite informative please leave a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be with wise